In Taiwan's Kaohsiung, today volunteers recently called on 89-year-old Grandpa Chu to help him clean his home, which had become cluttered with unused items and recyclables. Also in Kaohsiung, we meet recycling volunteer Hong Qingyun, who was homeless for a decade, but has found new meaning of life through recycling. <laughs> Pointing out where he used to sleep is Hong Qingyun, who was homeless for 10 years. Last year, Kaohsiung Social Affairs Bureau and city volunteers finally helped the man find a safe place to live. With shelter, I feel more at ease. In addition, I can worship the Buddha more often. Spending all his money on his mother's medical expenses, Hong Qingyun ended up living on the streets. However, his life has changed profoundly thanks to Tsuji's recycling campaign. Doing recycling makes me relax. I feel like I'm doing exercise. My body has become stronger as well. Now living a safe and peaceful life, Hong has decided to commit himself fully to Tsuji's recycling mission. I need to do as much as I can for Tsuji's recycling mission because I've wasted too much time already. Leaving his despair behind, Hong Qingyun has found new meaning in life. Learning to reciprocate through volunteering and transforming his life into one full of blessings. Also in Kaohsiung, at Grandpa Chu's house, one finds mountains of unused items and recyclables piled up high. The senior lives alone with no one to take care of him. Thankfully, Tsuji volunteers visit regularly. Today, volunteers will be helping Grandpa Chu clean up his house. Seeing the filthy environment the senior lives in, the volunteers' hearts go out to him. As the volunteers are not allowed to remove the items randomly, they can only follow the senior's orders in clearing away the garbage. If we send only a few volunteers to clean up room by room, maybe he will feel more comfortable. Volunteers hope that one day their patience and love will dissolve Grandpa Chu's defense and allow them to give his home a thorough cleaning.